So in this question, they would like us to work out the impulse exerted on the three kilogram trolley. Now, if you look on your formula sheets, there is a formula that goes like this. On some formula sheets, it might be written in a slightly different way, like that, for example, but you can rearrange it. Now, this part here is impulse. That whole piece together is the impulse. So what this means is that the impulse is simply equal to the change in momentum. And on your formula sheet, you'll also see that change in momentum is MVI, MVF, I do apologize, minus MV initial. Now they're asking us to do this question on the three kilogram block. Now the symbol for impulse is a J, okay? Now, so that's gonna be, and we're using the three kilogram block, so we're just gonna go MVF minus MVI. See, I've just replaced that with that part there. And I'm gonna choose right as positive, why? Because I don't know, we have to choose a direction and you don't wanna to spend too much time choosing a direction. There is no correct way to do that. You just choose something. And so that we, we're doing this on the three kilogram block. So that's gonna be three kilograms. Now the final velocity of the three kilogram, if we read carefully, they tell us after the collision, trolley B and C stick together and move at one meters per second to the left. So some people might say, yeah, but Kevin, now that they are together, don't we have to combine their mass? No, not in this type of question. They're saying determine the impulse on the three kilogram. So we use the three kilogram, okay? And that's why we use the three. Now its velocity is one meters per second to the left. So that'll be a minus one over there because we chose right as positive. Then the formula has a minus. I see some students trying to make this a plus because of negatives and guys, the formula has a minus. So just use the minus, okay? Makes life easy. And then the mass is three and trolley B's initial velocity, they tell us here, trolley B is originally traveling at two and we can see from the diagram that that's to the left. So we would have to say negative again. And so if we go work out the impulse, we'll see that the answer is three. Now the units of impulse is Newton second, but not Newton second to the minus one, just Newton seconds. And then we can say to the right, because we chose right as positive and we got a answer that was positive.